Good morning students. Welcome to Code to Enhance Learning Beginners Web Development video series. In this video series, we will learn about web development and you will be able to create your own website like Google, Facebook, etc. Isn't it amazing? This video series is divided into three themes. These themes will help us make our web page and applications to express and solve problems. Today we will be starting with our first theme and that is things around us. Our first theme is things around me. A couple of decades ago it would have been difficult to know about different parts of the globe. Compared to which now with internet it's easy to know about the farthest and the farthest places in just seconds. So in the first theme we will be making a web page with things around me which anyone in the globe can read and get inspired. I have made a web page about three places that I like around me a lot. I frequently visit them for many years and still the joy remains the same. You will make something about yourself and things around you. So by the end of our first theme, our web page is going to look somewhat like this. So now that you have an idea, Let's begin with today's lesson. The objective of today's lesson will be to create a draft of the final web page in our notebooks to share three things around us. So now I have an exciting practice task for you guys. For this we need to open up a web page in your browser. For this task I have chosen code to enhance learning homepage. When we scroll down here we can see the heading of this page that is the wall of the students followed by that is an animated video made by one of our fourth grade students. Isn't it beautiful? Beside that, it provides a description about the video, that is, the information about the video. On scrolling up, here we can see the buttons that help us to navigate to the other sections of this web page. So, now what I wanted to do is Pause the video right here and open a web page in your browser and try to identify the different elements present in the web page. Go ahead. So now that we are done, hope you were excited to see the content on the web page, how they were designed and different functionalities on how the web page works. We will learn to make such awesome things in our web page too. While creating a website, we need to focus on three things. First is the structure of the web page. Second is the style of the design that is the aesthetics that goes into our web page and third is the functionalities added to our web page. For example, if we add a button to our web page that adds to the structure of the web page. The color and the size of the button is the style or the design of the web page. Third, the function done by the button upon being clicked adds to the functionality of the web page. In order to help the computer to understand and execute these things, we write codes. We will be using HTML, CSS and JavaScript to write codes to frame these structures, add designs and to add functionalities to our web page respectively. Now let's learn about HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. By coding in HTML, we can provide a structure to our web page. Markup language means that rather than using a programming language to perform function, it uses various tabs like the HTML tag, the head tag, body tag, and the diff tag, etc., to frame our web page. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It adds styles like width, breadth, height, color, and alignment to our web page. JavaScript JavaScript is used to control the behavior of different elements. JavaScript is a programming language unlike HTML and CSS which are commands to perform specific functions. JavaScript provides functionalities to the elements of a web page like performing a task when the button is clicked in a web page as we have already discussed earlier. So now we have opened a browser to do another fun activity. So we all know who Sachin Tendulkar is, right? And some of us also want to become a great cricketer like him once we grow up. What if I say that today we can virtually become Sachin Tendulkar? Come on, let me show you how. For that, we need to select the text Sachin Tendulkar and what we will be doing is changing the text to our own names. For that, we need to select the text first and press Ctrl, Shift and I. That will open 
a terminal over here with the text Sachin Tendulkar highlighted. We need to double click on the name Sachin Tendulkar and write our own names. For example, my name is Rishav and press enter. Boom, the name is changed to my name. So now what I want you to do is pause the video right here and open your browser. Find your favorite personality on internet and change one of the things about them on the web page. Go ahead. So I hope you are done now. Let's continue with our video. So now I will tell you about the tools we are going to use for this lesson as well as the whole course. Our first browser of choice will be Google Chrome which many of you are accustomed with. Our second software will be our IDE of choice which is called the Visual Studio Code. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment where we can write our codes so that the computer can understand. First time on opening the Visual Studio Code, we will see this type of interface. We have to head on to the extension tab here and search for Live Server. Now since it's already installed in my computer, it's not showing me an option to install it. But first we have to install this extension and then we can move on with our lesson. Once we have done installing, we have to get back to our main page. And under the start option here, we will get an option to open a folder. And now here I'll create a new folder and name it theme1. select the folder and we have successfully created our first project now we will add a new file to this folder and name it lesson1.html because this is an html file that's why we have to use an html extension at the end of the name of the file so once i have done with writing the code i'll get back to you so as you can see i'm done writing my code this is a small piece of code and this contains html css and javascript once i'm done writing my code i will right click on the file name and click on open with live server so this is how it welcomes to this page Guess who is amazing and this is done by using JavaScript on clicking OK. It says I am amazing. So the structure of a web page basically contains an HTML tag within which all tags related to our page are written down. A head tag which contains all the details of the web page like the title etc. A style tag that allows us to use CSS codes into our HTML file also generally goes into the head tag. Then the body tab where all the rest of the tags which are involved in constructing our web page generally are written down along with the script tab that allows us to code JavaScript into our HTML files. So let me break this code down to you. These codes in HTML are called tags. Our tags make the framework of our web page. There are three types of tags in HTML the opening tag and this is an opening tag and opening tag as the name suggests opens a command and the second is a closing tag which uh, of course closes a command this is a closing tag of this opening tag and then we have a third type of tag called the uh, self closing tag which itself operates as an opening as well as a closing tag like a beard tag Thus, a tag is a predefined word that helps us to create an element. So, by now you must be having an idea about a web page. Now, it is to work on our theme of making a web page to share things around us. It's a good practice to first jot down all the ideas of how the page would look like in an abstract form. For example, my web page is going to be any three places to visit around me which I really like. So on the top of the page we will be writing our heading followed by the description of three places respectively. In each of which the left side we will write the paragraph describing the place. On the other side we will be putting an image of that place. 
Each of this description is also known as divisions. So we have come to an end of our first lesson. I guess now you are in a position to solve some of these questions. I want you guys to read these questions carefully and write down the answers to this question in your notebook. I am Risha from Code to Enhance Learning signing off for today. Hope to see you in the next lesson of our web development video series for beginners. Thank you.